Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. So, I searched the internet far and wide. I hunted down exotic and esoteric things for the players to play and the DMs to DM. Today, I did not have to go far. That's right. I am the AMDM Lee. This is an empty cup of coffee because I'm out of coffee. I have to go to the grocery store and get some coffee. I'm out of coffee. So, I am the AMDM Lee, and you're watching Perception Check. Anyway, so, I've been searching around, and something me and my wife and uh, have been talking about for a while. Well, not for a while. It was an idea we came up with, and we were, like, shooting around, because we're wanting to get a booth and do something at, at some conventions. Uh, and one of the things I came across seemed like a good idea. My son actually told me about it first. And we're Dungeons and Dragons players, so you know what that means, right? That means we love dice. All kinds, all shapes, all sizes. And a sore shoulder. So, uh, my son actually came across this website, or this not website, this YouTube channel, and this guy cast his own dice. And he shows you how to do it. So I want to introduce you to Dun Dun Dun, dun the Ribonator. Rib, Ribonator. Ah, uh, I am subscribed to his channel, and so you can see his first playlist right here is the Dice Series playlist, and he goes through and shows you some of the different types of dice that he has made up and how he's done them whoops I did not mean to do that because I don't want to that's it's not my stuff to, to do but I will be uh, putting a link in here but he shows these these flower draw dice he, it's a really cool little uh, cool little website I highly recommend, if you're interested in doing your own dice, to check this out. He also has some uh, talks about doing some modular sets, modular tiles, uh, dice sets. What else has he got? He's got some uploads, giveaways. Those uh, health potions that uh, Mercer used. There's a version of them. I actually have... I've gotten one in a... I think in a dungeon crate. Or thing, and it came with a little, little piece of paper and a plastic tube. I found this at uh, Michael's, so I put the I put my dice in there, and I had the the paper in there, so I was like, oh, I'll just leave that label on it, because I didn't feel like cutting it and doing anything else right now. But he shows you how to make the with the resin. Uh, it shows you how to make dice. That's r really, really cool way of doing dice. Hey, he shows a couple other things, like I said. So I highly recommend y'all go check him out. I mean, he's already got 52,000 su subscribers, so you probably already know about him. I mean, if you don't and you've subscribed to this channel without subscribing to his channel, wow. But go check his stuff out. That, guys, is all I have time to do today. I have to go get me some more coffee so I can continue my day out. So, that being said, that's all I've got. So, 
If you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like is an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me gain 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. Uh, make sure to check out, swing by the Facebooks. Um, check out the DM Legion for you Dungeons and Dragons players. For you Dungeon Masters, we talk about things about the dungeons and tricks and traps and what we can do. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to come up with an, a game idea to run a online D&D uh, game. So if you're interested, um, plop me a note in the bottom. This will be a strictly online. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but. Probably through Discord and Vogue. I don't know why I just wanted to do that. That's all I got for now, guys. So go forth and roll some dice.